Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 28 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, yeah, I ran a marathon today. Uh, <laughs> if you've been watching this, you know that I've been talking nonstop about it, just about training and how it kind of relates me to late. It kind of, I find it relating to how, you know, if you're struggling on Lico, it's kind of like, you know, different. I mean, not everyone's one. Not everything is one to one, but you know, uh, I'll probably cut some. Like I took some footage, but honestly, I was super drained during the marathon. So I didn't take that much footage, but um, but I did achieve my goal. I did accomplish my goal. I was able to finish at three fifty nine thirteen, which is just under sub four hours, uh, and it took probably maybe not everything that i had but it was close <laughs> uh like maybe if i really really you know um if i really really pushed for it i could have gotten like another 20 seconds or something you know not nothing that much and maybe a little bit more if i didn't have to use uh the bathroom at some point uh and by that i mean a tree uh but yeah anyway so i'm really happy about that Thanks for all your support and you know all the all the comments over the the last couple of weeks about my marathon. Uh, appreciate it. Always feels a little loved when it, when that happens. But yeah, um, I'll talk about it a little bit more in the future, uh, especially when I get back to New York. I'm still in DC, so I'm a little bit on the quieter side. My apologies. But uh, but without further ado, let's do this um today, and then we'll talk. I mean. I'm sure we'll talk more about it, but but for now, um, oh yeah, just a minor update though. My everything is sore, mostly my legs, obviously. But um, so yeah, I am stumbling. I'm limping everywhere, pretty much is what I'm saying. Okay, let's take a look at today's farm twenty five oh one longest square streak in an array. You give it in as integer array numbs. A subsequence of numbers is called square streak. I'm gonna just you know you you know the farm. You could read it. Length is two. Okay. After sorting and substituting, each element is the square of the previous number. Okay. Um. Subsequence, right? Yeah. The first thing I would say is that for this problem, it's phrased in a really weird way. But, but the first thing I would look for, not necessarily like a property that you can observe, but the first thing I would look for is. Um, I think I've said it in different ways in the past as to figure out like, okay, this, these are the ways you can figure out why you can sort it. But honestly, the way, now, uh, today that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, well, the question is, uh, maybe you can just do it the other way, right? Where like, if I sort it, does it change the problem to, like, does it change the idea that I want to solve it in, in a way that's not possible, right? Like maybe if it was sub array, then you can't really sort it because it has to be next to each other, right? So, you know, that's just not possible. So stuff like that. And I think in this particular problem, I think you could just go straight up to sorting because it doesn't change the answer, right? Um, because, well, you're supposed to sort on a subsequent, so then it's just like, well, right? Um, yeah, and I think this one is actually relatively straightforward. Uh, after sorting, right? Because after sorting, then now you have the small numbers in the front and larger elements in the back. But that also means that, um, well, the two ways you can think about it, maybe, I think actually going um, up, it's or going down is a little bit easier, if you ask me, just because I don't have to deal with uh, folding point things, because instead of doing square root, you could just do um, squaring, right? Um, meaning that if you're doing a four, because if you, you could count the, you could in this problem you can think about uh, a square streak as going up or going down you know you just it doesn't matter right um whether it's going up or down um and so you just figure out which way is easier and i think for me just going from because you know that going from four to 16 is just four times four where going from 16 to four you have to do the square root right but then of course you want to do it in the reverse order um of lookup and we'll, we'll show you why in a second but that's pretty much the idea right so then now we have four x uh or wait i have to do reverse um and now for x and nums 
right then we want to check whether x times x exists right so here we want to say um, and it's going to be dynamic programming, but you can write it in a different way. So it's going to be collections dot counter, right? And then here now that dp of x is equal to the longest streak that ends in x. But in this case, it'll be going upwards, right? So for example, what I mean by that is that um, dp of x times x it's going to be we, we check whether this yeah we check whether this exists if is in dp then now dp of x is equal to dp of x times x plus one right and of course because we're squaring it is a function that well okay if you deal with negative numbers and there are no negative numbers i should have checked but if you not deal with negative numbers then every x has only one x times x right so you don't have to do like minimization or anything because there are no decisions and no choices so you just can't do it this way and then that's pretty much the idea and um yeah and of course you can maybe do a min here or max yeah so then maybe you have a best is equal to zero um oh yeah and but also in any case if it's not then dp of x is equal to one which you can also, maybe you can infer this from this being zero, but I think this is a little bit clearer in the intent. And then now best is equal to max best dp of x, and that should be good. Uh, unless I did something wrong, which, you know, I don't have all my brain juices today. Oh, this is a negative one. Why do I have one? Oh, because it has to be, uh, yeah, I did actually remember reading this, but I just forgot, which is that, you know, but that's easily fixed. Because if the longest subsequence is um, greater than two, then we return pass out of where we turn negative one, right? I mean, you know, that's it's a weird thing because you have just return one is the same if you ask me, but um, and you're always gonna have one because zero doesn't make sense, but eh, it's not a big deal. Give some mid, and yeah, um, pretty straightforward. 1672 day streak. Um, what is the complexity here, right? I mean, obviously, it's going to be dominated by the n log n of n space. This is pretty straightforward linear scan. And that's all I have for this one, right? n log n. I am very tired. I am going to pass out. And that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Back in New York, hopefully. Bye-bye.